end of the summer, early fall, we got great beets. So these are some golden beets. I also have some uh, red beets. They have all different kinds of the uh, farmer's market or your local supermarket has them. So today with these beets, I'm gonna do a roasted beet salad uh, with a warm herb uh, goat cheese crouton over, served over a bed of arugula with a little uh, olive oil and uh, lemon dressing. Okay guys, let me just show you simply. This nice fresh beets. Cut the tips off. I'm gonna season them up with a little olive oil. Right. Some salt and pepper. Put a lot on. There's a lot of flavor. It's in there. Okay. Take a little tin foil and wrap each one up. Put it on a sheet pan. Put it in the oven for about 350, maybe 45 minutes or so. Um, you can tell when they're done, just take a fork, stick it in there, should be, be able to remove it easily or a little skewer, and uh, you'll know the beets are done. So everybody's oven's a little bit different. It depends on the size of your uh, beets. I like the smaller beets, they're a little sweeter actually. And what this does, when you boil beets, you lose a lot of that sweetness that these beets have. So this way, when you're roasting it, you're gaining a tremendous amount of flavor, keeping all the nutrition in and the sweetness. So it's, it's a great way to eat the beets. So I'm gonna go ahead, put these in the oven, and um, we'll be back in about uh, 45 minutes and I'll show you the rest of the dish. Okay guys, uh, the beets are out of the oven. Perfect temperature. I let them cool down. Um, the skin comes right off of them. You can peel them with the hands. What I do is get a pair of gloves. You're taking that off because you don't want all the beet juice um, all over your hands. Kind of a pain neck to get out, get off. So. Just be aware of that. That's the one little issue with this dish, but it's well worth it. Okay, guys, now we're gonna assemble the dish. Again, very simple. Uh, Chef Amando, I need a lemon, please. Okay, lemon, please. All right, okay. So I have right here some uh, beautiful organic uh, arugula. You can really basically use any kind of salad greens you want. Um, again, I'm just keeping this very simple and fresh. That's the whole, whole kind of idea in this. I got some extra virgin olive oil here. Sprinkle that on. I'm gonna get a little fresh lemon. Now you gotta watch the seeds in these, pluck it out. And just a little lemon on there. Give it a little toss, hands, a pinch of salt and pepper, okay? Okay, so we have the salads all ready, the beets are all ready. Now I'm going to show you how to make these croutons out of the goat cheese. So, you know, you buy a nice piece of French goat cheese, or it doesn't have to be French, it could be domestic, great product. I like to cut a little wedge like this. Keep the goat cheese cold, so when you're using it, you could even heat your night up for a second, you cut it. And what I have here is a mixture of panko breadcrumbs and fresh herbs. You can put whatever you want in it. Chives, um, parsley, dill, uh, mixture. And then you just simply toss your breadcrumbs in here. Let me get a little pan. Give me one second, guys. Come on, give me a small omelet pan, please. All right, we got the goat cheese. You can make these ahead of time also. This whole dish can be made ahead of time, except, of course, for the dressing of the salad greens. So while we're waiting to do the goat cheese, this is one of the golden. If you have a little mandolin at home, you can slice it real thin on the mandolin. I'm going to get that warm. I'm going to cut this goat cheese. But uh, just for the sake of it right now, we're going to slice these. I like to slice them real thin. Okay, just like that. A couple there. There we go. Some of the red ones. All 
Almost like a beet carpaccio. All right. Matt. Okay, this is getting warm. Arrange the beets any way you like. Okay, looks great. Look at the color on that. Beautiful, right? That should be warm right around now. Give it two seconds. You can use a little spoon or your tongs. Again, this can be, you really want to do this at the last second. You have the goat cheese ready too because you really want it to be warm uh, when you're doing it, okay? If, when the salad is all prepared, you can have it set up like this. Do the goat cheese, put it on top, serve it. It's awesome. I mean, that warm goat cheese going into uh, on top of the uh, beets and the arugula. Okay, now gets a little golden brown like that. Doesn't take much. Maybe a, 30 seconds on each side. All right. You know, perfect. Place that in the middle. And that, my friends, is pretty simple, delicious salad. You can serve with a nice glass of uh, rosé. We've been serving at Griffin's lately. Very popular. And uh, that's it roasted beet salad with warm goat cheese.